What's going on everyone? It is day 12 of the produce section challenge where I show you just how easy and affordable it is to eat healthy. I'm gonna start with some greens. So here's some iceberg lettuce and that's gonna cost us 99 cents. Next, I've got some cabbage and that's gonna cost us around 60 cents. I've also got a carrot and that's gonna cost around 20 cents. So here's some Brussels sprouts and those are gonna cost me around $2. I also have a portobello mushroom and that's going to cost me around a dollar. So here's some snap peas and those are going to cost me around 75 cents. So here's an avocado, it's on sale, 67 cents. Here's some roasted pumpkin seeds and those are going to cost me around a dollar fifty. Here's some maple pecan granola. It's the only one without honey, that's why I get it and it's going to cost me around a dollar fifty. Let's add in some fruit. There's a banana, and that's gonna cost us 18 cents. The last thing we're gonna get today is blackberries. And those are on sale for 99 cents. So we have a basket full of food. Let's see how much that's gonna cost us. So the total for today was only $11.32. Not bad. To put that in perspective, the guy in front of me got Eggo waffles, eggs, and bacon and he ended up paying $14. So as you can see, he only got breakfast. I got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a healthier meal for cheaper. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is add my Brussels sprouts and a little bit of salt to some boiling water. Next, I'm gonna add my portobello mushroom to the pan with some water. Remember, we don't use oil when we cook. Next, I'm going to add snap peas to the pan. I'm also going to add a clove of garlic, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. After that, I'll add some cabbage as well as some more water to the pan so that it will cook down. The last thing I'm going to add is some shredded carrot to the pan. After that, I'm going to take my iceberg lettuce and peel out the outer leaves. I'm then going to stuff it with that filling, making a lettuce wrap. I'm then going to top my lettuce wraps with a spicy and sweet chili hoisan sauce. If you don't want it to be spicy, you can also just use a regular hoisan sauce, and that'll give you a sweet, rich flavor. I'll continue rolling the lettuce wraps until I have about three or four. You can see they're almost like a little mini lettuce burrito with that portobello mushroom inside. So my Brussels sprouts just finished boiling, so I'm going to cut them in half and add them face down to the pan. While those cook, I'm going to add some sliced garlic and some salt to the pan for flavor. When you're cooking the Brussels sprouts, you want to make sure they get a little charred on the bottom before you flip them. Next, I'll work on my salad, so I chopped up my iceberg lettuce and added some sliced avocado on top. I'm then going to add some roasted pepitas. Those are just pumpkin seeds. Now I'll start to work on my breakfast. I've sliced a banana and added it on top of my maple pecan granola. The last thing I'm going to do is add some blackberries on top. So for breakfast, I have maple, pecan, granola, with fresh bananas and fresh blackberries on top. For lunch, I have lettuce wraps with portobello mushroom, carrots, cabbage, snap peas, and a spicy sweet hoisin sauce. I also have some charred Brussels sprouts with garlic and salt. I'll also dip these in that hoisin sauce. For dinner, I have an iceberg lettuce salad with sliced avocado, and roasted pepitas. So that's it. It's time to pack away lunch, pack away dinner, and eat breakfast. Make sure to check back here every single morning on Facebook and Instagram for new produce section challenges.